Imagine for a second that you're a female athlete, a weightlifter who has devoted your life to the sport. And then a former male weightlifter decides they're a woman and starts competing in the women's division. That is the reality for female weightlifters competing and typically losing against New Zealand's Laurel Hubbard. You see, Laurel used to be called Gavin and competed internationally as a male weightlifter before transitioning at the age of 35 and competing as a woman. In 2017 in Melbourne, she competed in her first major international competition and broke a number of national records on her way to winning the women's over 90 kilogram division. She came to represent New Zealand after beating Olympic medalist Tracy Lambrex, who no longer had any hope of winning in her weight division after Hubbard's transition. Rather than compete against an athlete born male, Tracy lost 17 kilograms to compete at a lower weight division. She's now retired and able to speak freely about what female weightlifters think about trans athletes competing in the women's division. I'm quite disappointed for the female athlete who will lose out on that spot. We're all about equality um, for women in sport, but right now that equality has been taken away from us. Weightlifters come up to me and say like, what do we do? Like, this isn't fair, How, what, what can we do? And I, unfortunately, there's nothing we can do because every time we try to voice it, we get told to be quiet. We're told to be quiet. That's what happens to women who stand up for their rights against the trans movement. They're told to be quiet or attacked and labelled bigots and turfs. And that was pretty, pretty much the message this week from Hollywood actor and comic Sarah Silverman, who scolded female athletes and even Caitlyn Jenner for saying women's sport should be for women. I saw Caitlyn Jenner saying trans girls uh, should not play girls sports. Caitlin, you're a woman, right? A trans girl is a girl. She should have the same rights as cis girls. If you think a trans girl, what you think a trans girl is too strong? I, <laughs> what about tall girls? As opposed to short girls. What about uh, boys in high school who are teeny tiny and their teammates uh, have already hit puberty and are shaving? Why don't you just have co-ed sports divided by weight or height? I, you know, this is so dumb. They are legislating this shit without one single example of how this plays out. Not one example. It's almost impossible to overstate just how diabolically dumb that diatribe of Silverman was. Imagine being that hopelessly ignorant on the issue and yet feeling like you're entitled to lecture female athletes about what's fair. Here's a news flash for Sarah. We have men's and women's categories in sport for a reason. And yes, we even have weight categories in certain sports like boxing and weightlifting. Guess who will be erased if it's a free-for-all? It won't be the dudes. As science writer Amy Alkin points out, the fastest female sprinter in the world is American runner Alison Felix, a woman with more gold medals than Usain Bolt. Her lifetime best for the 400 metres is 49.26 seconds. Based on 2018 data, nearly 300 high school boys in the US alone would beat that time. But back to New Zealand champion Laurel Hubbard, who was about to become a Commonwealth Games gold medalist on the Gold Coast in 2018, but had to withdraw at the last minute due to an injury. In the lead up to the Games, many female competitors were perturbed by Hubbard's inclusion in the women's division. The Samoan head coach spoke for many when he said, Laurel Hubbard used to be a male champion weightlifter. The strength is still there, and I think it's very unfair. And for all females, it's unfair. That point of view is backed up by New Zealand physiology professor Alison Heather, who said, the physiological attributes of males that make them naturally stronger, including anatomical and biological features such as size, muscle mass, lung capacity and heart size, would be an advantage. But forget about Commonwealth gold medals. Hubbard may well be an Olympic champion at this year's Games in Tokyo. As Reuters reports, Hubbard is effectively guaranteed a spot in the women's super heavyweight category. Bad luck, ladies. 
It's sad that this needs to be pointed out, but men and women are different, and pretending otherwise only disadvantages women. Biology doesn't care about your feelings or your pronouns. That's why even the wokest of the woke, the likes of Martina Navratilova, are now begging Joe Biden to change the executive order he signed on the first day of his presidency and protect girls' and women's sport.